Canadian Camilla Talandibaeva has not seen her husband, Hussein Jalil, in 16 years after he was arrested on a family trip in Uzbekistan and sent to China on terrorism charges. After the release of the two Michaels, Camilla is pushing for the Canadian government to also bring her husband home. She joins us this morning from Burlington, Ontario. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for inviting your show. Well, thank you for being here this morning. When was the last time you spoke with your husband? Since the 2006. Wow. 2006. Yeah, since the 2006. Uh, I haven't talked to him. I haven't seen him. I haven't received anything from him. I know that members of his family live in China, and they were able to visit him. They were providing you updates. But I understand you haven't had an update in, what, five years? Why has it been so long? It's been, you know, I have contact with him, uh, with his family, since 2016, which is the, you know, the camp, uh, re-education camp is open. And then after that, 2000, end of the 2016, I haven't received anything from his family. No phone connection, no internet connection, no Skype, no Facebook, no, you know, no messaging. You know, I think about your family. I mean, you were pregnant with your fourth son when your husband was arrested in 2006, your fourth son. So I'm thinking about your kids and how this has been for them over the last 16 years. They're older now. Yeah. They have a better understanding yeah. of what's going on. What do you tell yeah. them? How are they doing? So it's been, you know, it's been so hard for them, difficult for them to, and then to raise myself for boys. It's... You know, I can I can describe one of them words. You know how it was being hard, difficult, and then it's uh, now they became like you know, teenagers. They are adults. They are they are becoming men. It's uh, it is it is hard. You know now they they need a father to to be you know to support them to education to support with their sports to support with whatever young you know the the basic life. Camille, I want to let you know we reached out to Global Affairs Canada for a statement yes. on your husband's case. And I want to read the response from them. They said this. The government of Canada has been actively engaged on the case of Mr. Jalil since his initial detention. While the Chinese government has refused to recognize Mr. Jalil's Canadian citizenship, Canadian officials continue to raise his case with Chinese officials at senior levels and press for consular access. Yeah. So I have to think about you watching what was going on with the two Michaels. How did mm -hmm. that whole process feel to you? So when they arrived, I was, you know, I was positive when I saw the two Michaels, they arrived to Canada, I was positive. And then, so the Canada, if they want to do it, they can do it. They would do it. But they didn't want to, to try hard to push Chinese for my husband, you know, just they were ignoring this case. I don't know why. That's their problem. I don't know why they were ignoring this case. But if they want to bring Shane back, they would bring him together with the two Michaels. They, I think they, uh, I think they lost a big chance, you know, to add to Michael's case to link together. And then so the next step is, you know, I'm going to try to push hard to Canadian officials, to all the politicians, you know. I don't want to point one person or two person. That's his job. That's he needs to do that. All the politicians, all the Canadian officials, politicians, is the responsibility in this case, you know, to bring Shane back to Canada. Is what are you hearing from them? What are they telling you? So we have met, we have talked with the Canadian officials. Uh, you know, we are, we are, you know, we are requesting, we are, you know, appointing, you know, to appoint them to special envoy. Uh, Camilla, I, I have to say, we really appreciate you telling your story. We obviously followed the story of the two Michaels so closely. To, so to yeah. highlight what's been going on with you, you're an incredible woman, obviously very strong, got four boys. Yeah. I can't imagine what that's like. I have one. So uh, my hat's off to you. Thank you for being on the show today. We appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.